Time to talk business now with Joanna Connolly in from Business in Vancouver. Good morning. Good morning, Sophie. Talking about apprenticeships for our first uh, hour with you, Joanna. And yeah. It's, a, it's <clears throat> dying off in BC and um, perhaps across Canada. Yeah, too, yeah. That, that's, that's actually the case. Across Canada, um, we're finding that um, there's a really enormous skills, not just a gap, but a chasm mm -hmm. in terms of um, companies being able to find um, really skilled talent. And across Canada, uh, companies are fewer and fewer actually using the apprenticeship program. It's seen as, I think, something of an old-fashioned way right. to, uh, to hire young people these days. Do you, uh, I, I don't even know of people really doing it. I remember once, I had one friend years ago who did it, but... That's the only person I've ever known to do an apprenticeship. Yeah, and it's really just like small and medium-sized companies mm -hmm. that tend to do it now. Larger companies um, are just really abandoning the practice quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, it's actually really widening the skills gap because uh, it's such a valuable way of getting young people into industries. So why is this happening? Um, I think it's, it's seen as old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. I think larger companies can... Um, uh, they can largely tap into the already trained talent, mm -hmm. leaving small and medium-sized companies um, carrying the can mm -hmm. for apprenticeships. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, there's a, the recent federal bu budget gave um, a lot of money to skills training, including four million over three years to help fund apprentices apprenticeships and also um, they've got so many new federal um, construction and infrastructure projects that they're encouraging apprenticeships mm -hmm. um, use on but the um, industry is saying it's really not enough and unless companies actually step up these bigger companies and adopt um, these types of training programs mm -hmm. um, it's just not going to happen Does it get, I mean it can be an advantage for them as well if they do it is, it can is there are there programs um, post-secondary programs that have being used as replacements for apprenticeship? I think there are many, all, all sorts of different programs, but it's that kind of early, uh, straight out of high school training that, that we're really looking at. Um, it uh, needs to be made easier, not just uh, through federal funding, but also through provincial um, funding and programs. Um, so, yeah. So changing our mindset. Absolutely. All right, thanks a lot, Joanna. We'll talk to you again in about an hour from now.